start with sequence seven. This is our full vinyasa flow, okay? So we're all just going to face each other for a second. Work out nicely. Okay, sitting straight down, keeping the leg, using the arms to get the leg flawed. Remember to turn the knee out to the side. It makes a big difference. Get the foot up there. And bring your leg towards the outside. <laughs> for today. Once we get into the flow, we boot up. I'm just going to go ahead and shift from side to side. Just let yourself lean back, lean into it. Drop the hips a lot. Feel that tractioning of the heart lifting up towards the sky and the pubic bone pulling down towards the earth. And what happens in the front of the spine? Simple swaying motion from side to side is going to start to release all of that buildup, that stiffness, that fascia that has collected along the length of the torso. <clears throat> okay, better? A little better? Okay, great. So this, this first part's going to be a review. Let's just start out with something that's familiar, right? So inhale, wide straddle T. Wide straddle T. Wide straddle T. Star. 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 Namaste. Namaste. Sweep the legs together, squeeze the hands together, press the hips up towards the side and lean back. From Namaste, hold on to the swing and come into legal. So, legal. Legal. So, the arms down and overhead. From this position, we've already done it a bunch of times, but what I like to do is just make sure the swing is in a good spot so you can shift a little from side to side. Can you feel how you can move the swing down? So here's the time to move the swing down. You don't want to move the swing down once you're wrapped around. So go ahead and inhale, bring the arms up, grab onto the swing, bring the legs wide, and around. Thank you. Oh, I got it. Let the legs are around, then you can walk your hands forward into the wide straddle leg kick. Make sure you see us. This is why we practice, <laughs> why we practice the wide straddle handstand first. So go ahead and bring your hands down to the earth and walk them towards me. Yes. And then you're going to do that tuck. Thank you over that tuck. So go ahead and pull yourself forward for an up dog. Crash yourself back for upside down dog, wide straddle. Inhale, pull forward. Up. Exhale, press back, upside down dog. So keep that tuck the whole time. Inhale, pull forward. Next time you pull forward, what's going to happen is that we're going to pick up our hands, come to sit, and let your hips drop and your head lift. So go ahead and get some momentum, pull yourself forward, and then go ahead and, yes, tuck and come to sit. Yeah, so let's learn the pivot points of the body here. We're going to start to figure out how we can change our, <coughs> our weight, our center of gravity. So we're going to shift the weight from our head to our hips, from our hips to our head. Okay? So right now the weight is in our hips. Can you guys feel that? Okay. To change our center of gravity, we're just going to skip the flow for a second. I'm going to just show you with the wide straddle. So I'm going to shift my hips up towards the sky. I start pouring my head down towards the floor, and then when I get here, the weight's in my head, right? And then when I want to come up, I'm going to shift the weight back to my hips and come to sit. So try to do that without using the swing a couple times. If you need to pull and use the swing and use your arms, it's okay. But see if you can just find it by imagining the weight coming to the crown of your head, and then imagine the weight coming back into your head. That is you don't need to hold on. great. You don't need to hold on. It's okay to hold on. Put your hands down towards the earth when you come up. Do you see why? So you're you're really accentuating that, and then bring your hands up towards this towards your head when you're shifting the weight here. So your hands are actually helping you direct the energy. Okay. It's a bit of a tractioning, right, along the muscles of the back. But yes, that's it. That's it. Good. You can feel it? Uh -huh. So that's how we change our center of gravity. Go ahead and try it, ladies. Okay, so now let's piece that all together. So the first part is going to be the vinyasa flow, and then we're adding that roundhouse flip in there, which is the change in place. 
So again, we hope to open up for a wide straddle T. Exhale for star. Inhale, squeeze the legs together, squeeze the hands together. Exhale, press back into the center. Inhale, reach up, grab for the swing. Exhale, lower down, wiggle down, come into legal. Okay, now from legal, let's see if we can bring the legs wide and around. Let's see if you can do it without using the hands. Now that the legs are around, you can walk your hands to the back of the mat. I make sure the leg loops are on the ankles. You can just kind of kick them down. Okay, so now we have our hands all the way off the front of the mat. Walk them forward a little bit more. Okay, inhale. So you forgot to change planes there. So bring your legs up and overhead into the front plane. Yes. Now walk your hands first. Pull down through the center. You pull up through your center body. Yes. Inhale, look forward, up dog. Exhale, press your chest down for upside down dog. Keep weight in the legs. Inhale, pull forward, up dog. Stretch the belly, exhale, press back. Upside down dog. So now from here, we're going to inhale, pull forward. Use the momentum to come up and sit. Yeah, see if you can do it without your hands. It's okay to use your hands if you can't get the momentum. But let's try that one more time. Really fun. You guys are sitting nice and rigid. Like so obviously, you're going to be aware that there are heads and feet and all kinds of stuff happening in the space. Inhale, T. Exhale, start. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. <laughs> Inhale, reach up, grab for the swing. Exhale, lower down for legal. Shimmy, get the swing into the sweet spot from here. Then we're going to inhale, bring the arms down towards the ground. Exhale, bring your legs around and walk it back. See if you can do that a little bit quicker. Yeah, do the legs around first and then walk it back into the up dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, upside down dog. Relax into it. Inhale, pull forward, stretch. Exhale, the hand press back. Keep weight in the legs. Okay? Now we inhale, pull forward, and then we're going to tuck and come to sit. Yes. I know. It's a little, it takes a little bit. Until you get there, it's okay to pull yourself up. It's okay. Yeah. Really nice. Now let's just try doing the roundhouse flip by itself a couple times and see how it goes. Just kind of get yourself around. I know it's like a little bit of an unfair game. Your legs. Mm -hmm. Oh, little Dutch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Remember to lower your center guard and your hands down towards the earth instead of up. <laughs> Almost. Swinging, Jen? Uh -huh. Do you go, got it, okay. go backwards when you swing forward? Or do you time it? So just kind of whenever. Uh, I do time it. I can't quite tell you what it okay. is because I just do it. It just feels natural. As soon as my swing comes towards the front of the mat, <laughs> I turn over. Got it. Yeah, so then you can like them back. I come to the front of the mat, I turn, and then I'm there. And watch my head come up there. Yes. Bring your legs with you, honey. <laughs> I forget I have legs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very important. Isn't that fun? So we're going to see if we can teach the roundhouse look today. And you doing okay, Lainey? Yeah. Lainey. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of efforting it, try and to the point. Try dropping your weight. Which is the effortless thing. Uh, I mean, hey, so, man. Yeah, so it's effortless. So we learn how to shift our center of gravity from up down and then the flick is effortless totally effortless right we don't have to muscle our, our way through it spins we just use the momentum so hands have to come down towards the ground so as you lift your head you drop your hips hang out. So let's go for it one more time. So inhale T, exhale star, inhale squeeze, exhale namaste, inhale hold up for the swing, exhale 
belly it off. Inhale, bring the hands down. Exhale, walk it around. Inhale, up dog. Good. Exhale, upside down dog. And now from here, from up dog, we can add our ollies if we wanted to play with adding a twist. Right? So just from this, pull down, pull your feet down a lot. From this position, there's a lot of different variations we can do. Or we can just hang out in our upside down dog. So from this position, it's also fun to just wrap the legs and come into like peaceful warrior like we did before, happy, Buddha, arch, all of those positions we can access from, can you see how we can access them from the floating Buddha now? Mm -hmm. okay. Go ahead, inhale, pull yourself forward, exhale. It. So from this position, this is how we can actually start to incorporate the inversions from what we learned in the basics. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Just add on to it. So you can see why I haven't spread it out or come into um, some version of chillaxing. You can give your arms a break. Okay? You can actually just float to your side. Um, so you can see what we learned in the basics was really, really important for us to be prepared to add on the flips. And only add like one thing on for each class. You know, that way it, you know, give them something to look forward to. But it also can change. Instead of trying to teach them a bunch of different things, maybe one week you just do Peaceful Warrior, and then the next week you try for the um, handstand wide straddle, that kind of thing. Unless, of course, they're super smart, then we can keep going with it. So let's go ahead and turn the page so you can get to your outline. <laughs> I'm just going to come to my high diver. So now, that was all of number seven. Really nice work, guys. Now we're ready for super fly. Okay? <laughs> just pop in and out nice and slow. So stay seated <laughs> if you're going to have a leg like, super fly. Okay? So number eight. Really nice work. I'm going to turn this down just slightly. So just hang out in the floating Buddha and we'll go from there. Okay, so we can start this sequence from the ground or we can start it from what we've just learned. Push the leg loops back down to the ankles. So notice when we bring the leg loops closer to the center line, it's less pressure on the arms. So if we have the ankles at, if you have the leg loops at the ankles for a long period of time, it can be very intense. But let's go ahead and come back to back. <laughs> You'll be thankful once we're upside down. So let's try back to back. So from here, let's come on down into our ladle and then wrap the legs around for peaceful warrior. sure before you grab your legs so you're going to get the swing nice and low across the hips. Then you can open up your arms wide for skydiver. So I don't open my arms wide 
line until I get them in that lock position. So Lene, you see how that one is shifting? Yeah, get them in the position first. Okay, so let's go ahead and skip to the five minute. From skydiver, you're gonna hook your feet and come straight up and down so you have to tuck. Keep your hands towards the earth the whole time. Yes, yes, you can slide on up into straight up and down, shoulders here. And you're like, ta -da. So from this position, if we arch and open, we can bring our arms to a T, and this is Christ consciousness. Okay? Beautiful, guys. Amazing. Beautiful. So from here, all we do is bend the knees and let the feet slide down towards one another again, and we're back in skydiver. So that's the smooth transition. Okay? From skydiver, you guys need a break? Yeah, my arms. Okay. So come back through archer, so just bend the elbows. Okay? No problem. Archer, we reverse, we come back into our happy pivot. Okay, here we go. Leg lifts on the inside, breathing. Inside. Leg lifts on the inside. All the way in. Yeah. And then slide into a bridge route, just straighten the arms. Great. So wide straddle, crunch, scissor kick down, come to sit. See, all that came in really handy for number five. Really good. Now stay seated. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Good. We're all facing the windows. Really good. So that's all you're going to do to help her. Right? Let her like pick her up. And she's, yeah, she's doing really good. It's a little bit of a reminder to lift. Because most people are trying to muscle themselves up, and it's really, really hard. But we're just going to use the momentum and the pivot points. Okay, let's come back through our floating Buddha. And just make sure your swing isn't twisted now. Really nice to get it <laughs> smooth jazz with the swing. Or twisted, twisting it up. So from our leg loops, let's just come into our wide straddle T. Okay. Star. Namaste. Ladle. So get the swing into the sweet spot first. Then you can bring your legs around. Okay. Let your legs come around. Wrap your feet. Feet together. Peaceful warrior. Happy Buddha, get the leg loops, get the leg loops first. Happy Buddha, go the leg loops, get rid of the leg loops. Get the leg loops on the elbow creases. I know, you can't see me, it's all a mystery, it's amazing. So reach up and grab for the leg loops, do a, do a crunch. Okay. Keep your feet hooked. Can I tap them? Can I that right here? No. This foot needs to be in the front, front plane. Okay. Can you reach up that way? Can you push your square oh. and just flat? Oh, no. Off of your foot. So both hands at the same time. Just reach up and do do a crunch and grab the leg loops. Take them off your feet and bend back. Okay, you put them on the elbow creases. Hands at the heart. There you go. All right, now open the leg loops. That's okay. Open the leg loops wide and then arch, arch and open. So that's why we get the leg loops in the right position first. You have to extend the legs towards the floor, lift your chest, and squeeze the leg loops onto the shoulder and shoulders all at the same time. Stay arched. Yes. Got it. Lift. Squeeze. Got it. Extend your legs. Oh, you did it without extending your legs. You can beat my muscle in. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. So now bend the knees. Feet together. Skydiver. Let's just hang out in the skydiver. Arms. So Carrie, all I want you to do is take your fingers and help her by lifting her chest. And then squeeze your hands together. Towards the floor, leg loops go on the shoulders. Leg loops on the shoulders. Leg loops on the leg loops on the shoulders. Lena, come on down and watch that so we can continue. That's it. Look up. Look at the chest. Good job. Okay, so you guys are going to tuck. Okay? Tuck. And you have to keep the legs extended. Press the chest up and push the arms forward at the same time. So keep the tuck, legs heavy, press, 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 yes. Good job, guys. Okay. Woo! Once we get up here, we can try banking a little from side to side. So what? I'm missing Sorry. I'm missing something here. Well, we can come down and help you. Let me just, just okay. see how it's out. Okay. okay. Let's, not, let's not lose the ship. Let's keep steering here. So come into some chaturangas. Just come down and watch that you lost it. From Chaturangas, let's do some toe touches. Do some hair too. So, toe touches. Like press the arms. And squeeze. So, Terry, just hold that for a second. Okay. Let's no. just all do it together. Okay. Otherwise, there's too many voices. It can get confusing. All right. Leg loops go back on the shoulders. So, just watch. And so, those that have, those guys that have come down, just watch. Come on down and watch. Okay. Leg loops on the shoulders. <laughs> If you ever get stuck somewhere, just watch, and then next time you'll go back into it and get, like, feel the entrainment in the body, and you just watch your visual. So we're going to do this one more time. Do you want to do it together? Okay. So just watch what happens here. Legs extend. I have to tuck. Get my thumbs hooked. Press. So my body is nice and engaged. I'm shooting energy out through my feet to lift. That's how I lower my center of gravity. Okay? We bend from side to side. Push one hand down. And then the other hand down. See how engaged my lower body is? Yes. But can you go back to it on your shoulders and show me? That's where I'm missing this yep. part right here. Yeah. This is so it. skydiver. Yeah, yeah, this is where everybody gets stuck. Trust me. <laughs> we extend our legs. You have to pull up through your core. You gotta push. Push the hands down on the diagonal towards oh, the floor. Okay. Not forward, but down on the diagonal. Okay. That underneath you, diagonal. Okay. And then 
any of your sit. Thank you. Okay. Push up. Return them to the shoulders. After we do skydiver, we let it slide into elbow crease. If you have a nice slippery shirt on, it makes life easier. Tuck back in. So if you were in this position for a long time, reach up and grab for your feet. Round in and stretch your back. Right? This is like the Vipanasana we did earlier. Go ahead and slide into a wrist strap. Scissor are down. And go. Yeah, that's a major, major squeeze on the body here. So we don't want to stay there forever. So just hang up for this round and then we're going to bug up. Okay. Let's, let's find legs. So, why don't I go to landing? Okay, is that okay? Um, can you come and assist? Are you yeah. okay? Yeah. Do you mind? No, 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 no. Okay. no, no. I think Carrie will be with you and she'll be able to help you. Okay. If you need me, I'll be right here. <laughs> okay. okay, let's just come into our floating Buddha. I was going to have a shirt. Oh, no, no, I got the knees now. I know. I said put a shirt on, but we're good. <laughs> it does help if you have a shirt on. So if you want to.